Okay, so today I'm reading from the um, autobiographical novel by the French author Marguerite Duras. Um, and Marguerite Duras grew up in French Indochina, what's now Vietnam, in uh, the 1920s. And this is uh, a memoir of a relationship she had with uh, an older Chinese man at the time, and the, this version, which is called L'Amant de la Chine du Nord, the lover of the North China, the North Chinese lover, or the North China lover, is actually the, the screenplay version of, of the original work, which is called L'Amant, uh, the lover. And today I'm reading from, towards the end, well, pretty much the end of the, um, the book, when she describes uh, the um, hearing from this man after, many years after their relationship. So I'll read one time in French and then do a line-by-line -line translation of this first paragraph. Des années après la guerre, la faim, les morts, les camps, les mariages, les séparations, les divorces, les livres, la politique, les communismes, il avait téléphoné. C'est moi. De la voix, elle avait reconnu. C'est moi. Je voulais seulement entendre votre voix. Elle avait dit bonjour. Il avait peur comme avant de tout. Sa voix avait tremblé. C'est alors qu'elle avait reconnu l'accent de la Chine du Nord. Ok. So she says... Um, uh, des années, some years... Après, after la guerre, the war, la faim, the hunger, les morts, the deaths, les camps, the camps, les mariages, uh, the marriages, les séparations, the separations, les divorces, the divorces, les livres, the books, la politique, the politics or the politics, les communismes, uh, the communism. Il, he, ave, had, telephone, telephoned. Uh, he, he telephoned. So, some years after the war, the hunger, the deaths, the camps, the marriages, the separations, the divorces, the books, the politics, the communism, he called. Se, it is, moi, me, it's me. De, um, from, or because of, in this case it means from. La, the voix, the voice, from the voice, elle, she, l'avait, um, had him reconnu, recognized. So from the voice, she recognized him, she had recognized him. C'est moi, it's me. Je, I, voulais, wanted, was wanting, seulement, only, entendre, to hear, votre, your, um, and it's a voix. So this is votre, um, the more formal form of uh, your, which is a, uh, a theme in earlier parts of the books, the, the difference between um, using vous and tu. So he says, I, I only, I was only wanting to hear your voice, I just wanted to hear your voice. Elle, she, avait, had, dit, said, so she said, bonjour, hello, good day, hello, il, he, avait, had, Peur, fear, come like avant, before. So he, uh, he had fear like before. He was, af he was afraid like before. The of to everything. So he was afraid just like before of everything. Sa, his voix, voice, avait, had, tremblé, trembled. His voice trembled. C'est alors, it is, then that she avait had reconnu recognized l'accent the accent the of la Chine the China du Nord uh, so his voice had trembled his voice trembled uh, it's then that she had recognized that she recognized the uh, North China accent okay um, so that's it I just want to point out um, a couple things. One is um, 
you have two words that look very, very similar, des années and de la voix, and this, that difference is this uh, accent. And when it's, without the accent, it refers to um, an unspecified quantity of something, so it's, it means some years or many years or something, you know. Um, and this one means, uh, it means from us, um, because of, since, this type of thing. So because of the voice, from the voice, she could recognize him. The other thing is, you notice a lot um, uh, the use of this um, this composite tense in the past. So, avait tremblé, uh, avait reconnu, avait téléphoné. And in English, we wouldn't really translate as had done. It's it's more translated as just simple past. So he called. She recognized him. His voice trembled. She recognized the accent. And that is it.